YouTubers, Electric Adventures here. Um, a special Let's Play video. Um, I'm going just playing games that I want to play at the moment, and ones that I haven't necessarily covered on my channel before. Now, this is a particular game which I think holds the record for the most number of conversions across any systems, and you can pretty much get a version of this game for every system, and there are modern remakes and everything like that. Um, I first played this game back uh, in the early 80s on the Apple II uh, when I reached uh, college. So we have high school, primary school, high school, then college. Um, I was doing physics and part of the way through the year I discovered that physics actually had a little computer lab and it had two Apple IIe's in there. And um, as well as playing uh, Choplifter and Castle Wolfenstein, I was introduced to the game called Load Runner. Now, these particular ones we're going to look at today are the ones for the MSX system. So there actually were four releases. I have three of the four releases. We have Load Runner. So it's a cartridge title and it has 50 levels on it. There are another 50 levels and that's on Load Runner 2. Plus, there was a disc version of this one with a cover like this one. Um, except instead of ROM there, it has a disc in it, and that's actually the one that I saw back in the day, and I do have a <coughs> copy of that one, um, and that one has all 100 levels plus a level editor. Um, and as part of the level editor in Load Runner, you could submit, send those in to Sony, and they picked the hardest ones, and they put together another cartridge for the MSX called championship load runner where they have all of the levels from um, various people sent in and these are really hard and load runner does get pretty hard um, so this is um, uh, these and these titles aren't rare on the msx they're, they're i would say more uncommon you can get loose copies of load runner for quite cheap the boxes uh, can run a little more so i'm very lucky that i have my three game set I would like to find a um, copy of the disc version at some stage, that would be nice and round out the collection nicely. But as I said, I do have a copy of it, it's in my original MSX disc that I've kept from back in the day. And, <coughs> and that's the copy that I used to play, and I used to play this game a lot. And it's a very good game because it's a puzzle platformer. Uh, very simple mechanics, um, but lots of, uh, of fun. Um, I used to play it on the keyboard back in the day because I did not have a two button MSX joystick. Um, and the whole idea is when you're running your man around you can dig to the left or the right. You can't jump, you can only go up ladders and fall, and you can fall infinite distance. Uh, you can dig holes and the holes will slowly close up over a period of time. And some of the puzzles you have to dig lots of different things, get down and get through before it closes up. And sometimes you've got to use the um, close up mechanic to trap one of the enemies because they're carrying one of the pieces that you need to get to get out the exit. So there's lots of puzzles involved. So we'll have a quick go of each of the different versions. Um, now I can't say how well I'll do, especially in the championship load runner, because those ones are particularly hard. Let's fire up the MSX. I'll use my MSX2 Plus uh, on this setup because the recording comes out a little clearer than my setup on the other side of the room. And we'll give it a go. Right, here we go with load runner. Uh, you do need a two button joystick. The game starts as soon as you move. One to the left or the right. Enemy guys will move towards you and they'll drop the piece they are carrying if um, they fall in the hole. So, very simply. There we go, and once you get all of them, as I've just now done. A ladder appears to get you to the top of the screen. Oops, oops. <coughs> and it's best not looking at the camera and looking at the screen. <laughs> Can't believe I just did that. And this time, interesting enough, he didn't actually pick up that piece that I got the first time. <coughs> Pardon me. Now, Clever Electric Adventures would um, probably leave that one to last. Go. 
there's our exit. We've got two guys coming down here. So we need two holes. We're only got a short time before they will try and jump out. They'll only get trapped in the hole if you time it correctly so that they're in there when it's going over them, like you can see that one there, and that will actually kill them and they'll go back to their starting position. That's also very important because some of the um, blocks are in the starting position and later on ones you need one of the um, men to go get it for. Now with these blocks without brick barks you cannot dig. So already second level we are starting to get some more complexity. You just push down to fall as well. Now, this is the art of digging down into our room. Right, there's one more over there. We've got the traps, so we're going to wait for him to fall. We go up here. Oh, is there one more? Well, we made it. Oops, oh, there's an invisible there. Look! There must be one more, one more being carried by one of the other guys there. This is a good idea to look around and... Um, yeah, see that one? He like, picks up one. Let's see where they are. And did you see there's an invisible hole in that one over there? So you need to watch that one. quickly. And the MSX version is very solid, lots of colour, um, runs quite quickly. There we go. So to get around that hole, where you can't get through it, adds a bit section to the ladder down there, so you can climb all the way up. It's just reaching the top of the screen is basically done. Uh, Alright, more complicated. You need to start thinking about and planning your route or around. You don't want to be digging a hole under one too late. The hole has to be fully there to trap the um danger zone is this bit leading up to the ladder here. Obviously you can't dig any holes, so you need to make sure there's none of the guys near you. I'll, do, I'll leave this as the last one. I just want to show you a bit of variety in the levels. Now, very important there, you see Some of these ones, you really need the guys to get them for you. Oops, no, got me. Alright, I'll leave it at that and we'll go try it number two. Right, so here we go with Load Runner 2. Um, this one actually has a bit of a um, thing that tells you who made what levels and things like that. Um, so this is basically level 51 in the set of 100 levels in the um, disc games. And then you see there's a lot of complicated... Oh, another invisible block there. 
We just want to be careful about going in there or we'll get trapped. Let's get over here and do this section here. Oh, I was trying to dig. And there was an invisible block there. So luckily I got that little corner out of the way. Oh yeah, I have to actually go through there. Three guys in a row, that's really dangerous. As you can see, it's already a lot harder. Ooh, that was so lucky. Let's go do some of these ones over here rather than worrying about that one for the moment. So, oh, so there's a block, an invisible block there, so the only way to get that one is to go higher and drop down through it like that. So there are lots of, from very simple um, mechanics and rules, there are lots of different level possibilities. Oh, no, anyway, down there is to block. How in the world do we get up there? That's a very good question. A couple of those. You can see if you try and dig a one underneath, underneath one, it's not quite finished. You can get yourself in trouble. I reckon I'm going to be hard pressed to finish this one. That's right, this is a block. guys there we're stuck it is hard when they've got that spacing So we do have all of the bits, but I oh I see. I need to go up there. Ah, I did it! I want to. <laughs> I mean, it's been a long time since I've um, played that particular level. Now look at this one. You've got massive amounts of digging that needs to happen. To get to that particular one up there. Oops! Oh, I leant on the button to the left of there. Good work. 
probably should leave that one until I've done all that digging through that block, but... one of them which is good because it's put him over on that side of the screen. And we'll actually trap this guy over here. See, you can't muck around. this one so as you can see they get very very complicated so that'll do of number two so 50 levels on the first one another 50 levels on this one um, <coughs> let's try the championship load runner so these were levels submitted by um, users out there back to Sony let's go do that now right so next we have championship load runner <coughs> um, I do believe there's a hundred levels on this cartridge squeeze spots on so you get lots more variety so you, know, you end up with quite a few levels um yes I'm running a bit faster so here we go um, hang on just a sec sorry about that <coughs> um it allows you to enter a password so you can go back and replay a level um, so this is the first level, aptly named Hello. <coughs> and as soon as we start moving, it will... I just want those guys to get stuck there. Oh. I think I've already made a big mistake. You cannot fall down that bottom area. Unless you've got a way out. Oh my god. So there we go. Right from the go. It's um. <coughs> it's got us in. So we need to go up and do these top sections here. While avoiding those guys. And every time I do that. They're going to get closer to me. Hopefully that one over that side continues to stay confused. Because you don't want this guy to suddenly decide. He's going to um, follow me along that middle line. Oh, too busy looking at the, um, the other side of the screen and didn't dig the holes. 
We have to at least try. I get those two blocks down in the middle if I can only fall down once. Unless it's possible to dig it, completely dig out one of the sides from the ladder and then fall in and get around before they heal up. That's going to be the real challenge. are gradually getting closer to me. We're not very compelling watching me trying to wipe out this hello. I'm all waiting for that end bit where well, hopefully I don't stuff up. So these are games, I mean, I used to sit there and play that disc version that I had for hours and hours and hours trying to complete it. I'm not sure I ever did play all of the levels, but I made it a fair way through. I felt it was a game my father liked playing as well. So we had that in common. Just like my first computer, which is a TI-99-4. We had TI Invaders and Munchman for that. Used to, um, he used to disappear at night sometimes and my mother would ask me, where's dad? And we'd find him in our study on the TI-994 playing um, TI Invaders. And later on, you could find him in there playing this as well. Well, not this particular one because I didn't have championship road right on the back of the day. Almost there. Oh yeah, I'm making some of the sniffles. Get the farthest one first. Oh, 
Okay, so we've cleared all those primary ones. Now we need to... Probably actually need to get the, them to fall through one and collect one for you, which is probably the other way. All right, I'm not going to torture you with me trying to get through this level again, but you can see obviously it lets you <coughs> once you do get through a level, you'll get a code um, and you can jump to whatever, whichever levels you want. Um, and it has uh, more than 50 levels, um, it says in the box, it is in Japanese, so. Um, yeah, no, I can't tell you exactly how many levels there are, but there possibly is a hundred on there. So, an excellent series, um, a game I have for lots of different systems. I've got the Game Boy one, I think I've even got one of the Saturn ones as well, which is one of the modern ones. Um, got it for the um, Sega SG-1000. Um, there's a very good port for the uh, ColecoVision, which I believe is based <coughs> on the disc version of uh, MSX version with all the 100 levels and the level editor um, and uh, lots and lots of different versions of Load Runner out there and a good fun game that can keep you busy for hours trying to get through levels and um, we'll see how far you can get alright I hope you enjoyed having a look at these games with me I'm Electric Adventures thanks to all my subscribers thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time <laughs>